Hello everyone and welcome to a new chapter of your Python course which will be strings and string slicing. In this chapter we are going to talk about string, how we store a string, how it is stored, what are the indexes and then we'll, talk, uh, we'll be talking about string slicing. Okay, but before go, uh, going into the concepts I'd like you to <coughs> tell me how do we declare a string. So it, it's like a is equals to let's say python, this is my string right. So here python is stored inside the variable a and if I run it and try to print it out let's say print a then it's going to print out python. So this is how we store a string inside a variable but this is the overview how we store. In order to learn about string slicing first we must learn that how a string how each character is stored okay how each character is stored. So let's uh, jump to our presentation. So here let's say a is equals to python right so how it actually will be stored i will tell you so this a will be containing an array and inside the array there will be elements of the string characters of the string divided into parts like this p then comma y then comma t then comma s then comma n then o then comma n and then it will be closed so each character each character has its own place in a string Okay, so how does we uh, tell which place uh, which character has they are differentiated using the indexes. So the first character will be having the index of 0. The first character will be having the index of 0. This will be its roll number. Assume it's uh, like a roll number given to the character. So first character will always have the index of 0 and it will be incremented by 1 for the every other character. So it will be 1 for this. Then the next one will be 2, right? And the next one will be 3, like this. The next one will be 4, and the last one will be 5, right? So, this is how indexing works in strings. Each character has its own index, and we can access the character using its index. Okay, so this is a complete string stored in the variable called a and inside the a to the deeper level this is how they are stored. The first character will always be the uh, uh, 0 index then the 1 index, 2 index, 3 index, 4 index and 5 index. This is how it works. Now assume I will type print a of 2 or let's say a of 0 first. I'll start with the 0. So this is a which is python. And from Python, we are going to access the index. This is how we access an index. So from Python, which is a, okay. So Python from zero. Then if we run this, it will print out p it's because p is presented the zero index. Now you tell me if I just write down print a of four, what will be the output? The fourth index. Which one is the fourth index? Zero, one, two, three, four. It will be o, right? So let's run this and check exactly it's printing out o. but what if we print out let's say a of 10 there are not 10 characters in our string right so what will happen if we run this it will give us the error string index out of range because there are uh, no such character found which is presented uh, index 10 and it's out of the range for the string so i hope you are clear with the concept that how strings are stored now I'm going to show you one magic trick. What if I write print a of minus one? What will happen then? What if we give the index in negative numbers? Just see, it prints out n, but why? Because when you start indexing from left hand side, this is the left part, right? If you start from left hand side, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But if you start from the right hand side, this side, it will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6 like this. I'll show you. This will be minus 1. If you start from this side now, it will be minus 1. Then the next one will be minus 2. Then this one will be minus 3. The next one will be minus 4. The next one will be minus 5. And the last one will be minus 6, right? So you got it. 
zero one two three four five minus one two three minus five minus six, right? So this is how indexing works in Python. So if I want to print out, let's say, print a of minus six, then it's going to print out p. Why? Because p is presented the index minus six, right? Now one more thing. What if I print out a of minus 10 then what will happen again index out of range the reason is there is no uh, character present at the index minus 10 so i hope you guys are clear with the part how strings are stored in python now we'll be starting with the string slicing this is a very crucial concept and we must pay attention to it okay because String slicing will help us in uh, array slicing or list slicing or uh, in other parts of Python programming as well. So this is a really, really, really important concept for you guys to learn. So I'll just uh, uh, teach you in a very, very, uh, you know, animated method. So assume, yeah. So let's say we have the, this thing python which has the index i'm going to remove the minus indexes for now so these are the indexes right zero one two three four five if we want to let's say access p y t only p y t not the h o n right now we know how to access the single character right uh, let's say i want to access p if, if i want to access h then i can write a of three if i want to access o i can write a of four right but what if I want to access multiple characters? Let's say PYT. I want to access PYT. So I can simply write print A of which are the characters I want to access? PYT. What is the start of PYT? Obviously P, right? So we'll always give the start index at the first. So it will be zero then separated by the colon mark this is called as the colon mark separated by the colon mark we will tell it where to stop where to stop so we want to include it till t so we will be stopping at h i will tell you why we are including uh, why we are giving the index as three don't worry so see it returns as pyt we are starting from zero and stopping at three so why do we include three why did not we write two because in python the last or the stop index will be considered will not be included in the string slicing and it will be considered out of the string part okay out of the string slice part so that's why we always give plus one index so the here is the syntax make sure you note it down string of start index whenever you want to slice anything start index column and index always give the plus one so for example you want to access till o you want to access till o. what is the index of o four so always write five over here always write five over here make sure you remember this formula so what if i want to access tho this time tho only if i want to access tho so i'll first write the string which is a then the colon start index right what is the start index of tho it will be two right because t is starting at 2 so 2 colon what is the n index n index is o's index which is 4 and what i'm writing plus 1 so 4 plus 1 5 so let's see if i write this you can see i got t h o so isn't it simple it's simple right uh, we are able to access a characters a sequence of characters out of the string 